Hey, brothers and sisters, this is a former Hezbollah fighter who recalls an encounter he had with Jesus, and he said, God didn't design us to hate. And this was, you know, some of these times when you run across a video and it just really impacts you, and I love Israel, I love Muslims and Jews, I want them all to come to find salvation through Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, who cleanses us from all unrighteousness and gives us a new life in Christ. So I thought, well, you know, as we're sitting here waiting for Jesus to come and rapture us, I'm going to put this, I'm going to record it and um, show it to people. It was very popular. It had over a million views, I think, and I'm not doing it for views. It's that my channel belongs to the Lord and uh, you never know when God is going to lead somebody to find you or to find me and that we are the the Bible coming alive through our words when we're professing Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So let's listen. When an Iranian ex-Hezbollah shows up in Israel, everyone wants to know why I'm here. You were born in Iran. Correct. You were a Hezbollah fighter for three years. Correct. I was on my way to United States to convert Christians into Islam. And um, I had 30 illegal passports at that time. I was arrested, uh, put in jail in Malaysia. I was a dedicated Muslim. Not only prayed the prayers, but I read the Quran once every 10 days, wow. cover to cover. So I was very dedicated. In my time in jail, uh, one day as I'm praying, a man appears in front of me, normal size, but his being shines like light. And this light was not a normal light. This light carried identity in it. You knew that he's holy and he's just. And instantaneous, I knew I am not. Even though I had prayed so many prayers, even though I had fasted so much and I had read the Quran and I had volunteered to walk on landmines or I had participated in hanging people trying to please Allah. I knew, even though I have kept all the rules and regulation of Islam, I knew I'm not just and I'm not holy. And I knew the only just thing for him to do is to kill me. But I didn't want to die. So I ran to the corner of the room, literally held my head in my arms and just cried out shouting, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. And I didn't think he will forgive me because he is just. Till I felt a touch on my left shoulder. And he said, I forgive you. And I felt a weight just lifted off me. And I, I, I knew I'm forgiven, but I don't know how. And I was confused. I was like, okay, I don't understand. Only God can forgive. You just forgave me. You are God. But you are a different God than the one I have studied about. This is not Allah. So who are you that forgives me and I feel forgiven today? And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I thought, that's very powerful. It means a lot because as a Muslim, you pray, show me the straight path kind of thing. And so the way is a direction. Truth is something you measure. Life is a source. But he claims to be all those three. I never thought the way is a person. The truth is a person, and life is a person, and all of them is the same person. So I said, I don't understand. What is your name? I said, Jesus Christ. And someone grabbed all my bones out of my body. I just fell like a piece of meat to the ground, and I just began to weep. Did you get Holy Spirit tingles out of that? What changed after that? It's like, you know, being colorblind. And then suddenly you see colors again. 
And you realize the world is so much more beautiful than you ever thought. If you ask me what made the world so colorless, it's the hatred, the anger that is in the heart of every Muslim. I mean, I, people say, why did you hate the Jews? I had never met a Jew. But I thought Hitler was a good man for doing what he did. He just didn't finish the job. I don't know why I hated them. No Jew had ever done anything bad to me. God didn't design us to hate. Didn't design us to want to see someone dead. He did not design us for these things. These are design of Satan. How do you think killing the people that God gave them this land to is going to please Allah? The God of heaven, the God of Abraham and Moses, the God of their prophets and Jesus is not a God that celebrates when Jews are killed. Are you going to let the greedy heating companies and their crazy high prices decide if your family is allowed to stay warm this winter? In early October, Efshin was visiting Israel with his ministry, which promotes friendship between Persians and Jews. But like millions of others, he found himself in the middle of a war when Hamas launched a bloody attack. When Afshin visited the CBN News Bureau, he met another guest, Sasha Ariev, whose teenage sister had been kidnapped by Hamas. He and his wife wept as they watched her story. It's absolutely no justification. No explanation I can make any of these okay. Nobody should celebrate when one of the sons of Father Abraham is killing another. And I just want to say, I'm sorry that your family is going through this. Because I'm sure that a lot of Muslims around the world, they do not want this to happen. Off camera, Efshin and his wife prayed for Sasha and invited her to visit them for dinner. Her reply, I'd be happy to come and bring my sister with me. We are standing with, uh, with, with uh, all the Jewish people, with the people of Israel, and we are, we are mourning their sorrow of their family members that have been lost, but also for the right of Israel to exist. At the end of our interview, Afshin offered a prayer for those on both sides of the war in Israel. You love the world, the whole world, all the people of the world so much that you sacrificed Jesus Christ so that we will not perish but have eternal life. I pray today that the revelation of Jesus Christ would go forth amongst the Muslims and the sons of Ishmael. I pray that you would remember that covenant with Ishmael, that you would go forth because Ishmael is thirsty for the revelation of love, for the revelation of Jesus Christ, for the revelation of salvation. Father, I pray that there would be a hand of protection that would protect Isaac on every front not only in Israel, but all around the world. Give us visions, dreams, wisdom to speak peace in this war. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. May there be dreams, may there be visions, may there be an impartation of his love and forgiveness to a hurting Muslim world. It's the truth, you know. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. You know, there are many uh, Christians who don't even believe in the God of the Bible. They call themselves Christians, but they don't believe that God, our Father, sent Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God, to be born of a virgin suffer and die on the cross and to be resurrected on the third day and jesus himself promised that he 
will come and take his bride to the place that he has prepared for them. In John 14, you know, there are people that are Unitarians. They don't believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They believe just in Jesus, but that's a different Jesus because Jesus, who suffered and died on the cross, said that he came to please his Father and he willingly gave up his life to please his Father. And the wrath of God the Father was on him. He was the perfect, sinless Lamb of God. He never, he was not created. He has always existed. In the beginning, God created them male and female, and he made them in our image. He made Adam in our image, and that is our God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One God, three persons, and but you never know what day he's coming. Do you know if you would inherit eternal life if you were to die today? Do you know that if you have hatred, it's the same as murder, according to Jesus? Do you know that if you um, kill people or abort babies, you can be forgiven? The murderer can be forgiven, but you have to ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and to make you a new person, a new creation who loves him. And then you will love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And you will love your neighbor as yourself. So as that man was speaking, you know, he obviously truly loves He truly loves, he truly loves, as Jesus said, to love your neighbor. He loves the Jews. And how many Jews are we praying that they are going to come to faith in Jesus Christ today? I have so many videos. Um, You know, I have my friend in Israel who also um, is sharing the gospel with the Jews in Israel. But we need to keep on praying until Jesus comes and takes us. And the church is is the one universal church around the world made up of both male and female, Jew and Gentile. We're all one in Christ. So um, isn't it wonderful to see that man do that? It's really awesome. And God is on the move. God is waking up people. He says, He says that in the last days, this is Acts uh, 2, 17 and 18. He says that in the last days that there will be men who will have old men and young men who will dream dreams and have visions. How many Muslims, particularly in Iran, are having uh, dreams or visions of seeing Jesus? It's the truth. And then um, he says men and women will prophesy. So a lot of American Christians who don't believe in the gifts, don't believe in the spiritual gift of prophecy, healing, miracles, when you don't believe in those gifts, then you're really not able to see God's moving in, particularly in the Muslims, having dreams and visions of Jesus Christ. Miracles are happening. God is good. He does not want anyone to be, um, he doesn't want people to go to hell, but he says he commands everyone to repent. Jesus said in Luke 13, repent or perish. And when you repent and you truly humble yourself and ask to be forgiven, Jesus will reach out to you and he will forgive you and he will cleanse you of your sins. You will confess them and forsake them and you won't, you have a new heart, a new heart, which is tender and responsive and obedient to Christ's commands. And he said, go into the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These were words from Jesus. So when you don't believe that, when you don't believe the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, 
you don't believe Jesus because Jesus himself said to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to teach them to obey and observe the commands of Jesus Christ. So it's a wonderful thing. And any day now could be your day of salvation. And if you're already saved, keep praying for Israel. Keep praying for Muslims and, uh, and for Jews. And let's love our neighbors as ourselves. Jesus is coming. We don't know what day and hour, but he's coming. God bless y'all. Maranatha.